Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Oh my gosh, it's Friday. I gotta do a weekly. I missed the weekly last week. I just realized that. So yeah, I still have about six readings left to do to get through March. If I choose to only do one set in March, I'm planning on trying to get cusp baby readings out and trying to get out round two. I'm, I'm guaranteeing nothing at this point. I'm not gonna lie to you. Since my son and I had the vid, I've just been drained. It's a struggle for me to do my regular job. So, yeah. Anyway, enough about that. Um, weekly. It's the 18th. We'll make this good. 19th through the 26th. So, it is still Pisces season. Water signs, you will go first. We'll go around the way accordingly. Uh. There's something else in my brain. Just give it a second. Anything you need to know will be in the description box below, including if you do not know what element your sun sign falls under, it will be listed. As always, check your moon rising or Venus readings. If your sun doesn't vibe with you, yada, yada, yada. It's all in the description box next to that like button and that subscribe button and that notification bell. So anything you need to know, it's all down there. I'm just going to hop right into it. All right, see if we can get a flyer for water. Empress reversed. My condolences if someone lost a child. I feel compelled to say that. It is not an easy thing to go through. And my heart goes out to you if that is your story. Could just mean something's not growing. Okay, we're going to tip down. We're going to get right into it. Three shuffles. Two of Wands, Two of Cups. Y'all got something new coming in. You're in the process of letting something go and moving on to the next. Because the challenge is the new. Hmm, all right. Hmm, okay. I'm not going to say anything else until I get the rest of the cards on the table. Fiery new path to walk. You'll know when it's time to let go of that old one and grab this new one. For whatever reason. How big of a bat signal in the sky do you need? I'm just asking. You're waiting it out. Ah, okay. Two of Pentacles reversed, Terrafin, Nine of Swords. I want to know what's up with this Hierophant. Could just be a Taurus. Could have been something committed. There was anxiety. Not being able to make up your mind about something committed. Either you or the person you're dealing with. I feel like it didn't take off because of anxiety. Because somebody couldn't make up their mind. You need to let go. You're going to end up repeating an old cycle. 
if you stay angry about something not working out in the past. You got this, you got two aces here. New beginnings. Passionate new beginnings. Potentially full of love and blessings. Two cups. Can't stay angry. Queen of Wands of her, she's an angry, jaded person. I say she. It's this it's the sex of the person depicted in the card, okay? That's just, you know, it's the pronoun I'm using, insert whatever pronoun you want wherever. <sighs> Moon reversed at the bottom of the deck. If there's been questions, all things will be revealed to you in time. Let's get a little bit of clarity, friends. Pentacles, five of pentacles. Hmm. I can do that. I'm the reader. The King of Pentacles, that's the one you marry. Large and charge, get their shit together. Probably enjoy the finer things in life. Probably have a good job. They're stable. It's stability. Stability. like you're locking yourself out from it for whatever reason. Probably some old leftover baggage. Talk to me about the Seven of Pentacles. Rule reversed, judgment reversed. more. What are you waiting around for? Hesitation. You're hesitating to jump into something new because something old, you don't want to let go. You're hoping for resurrection. It didn't grow, friends. It did not grow. You're at crossroads. Some of you may not be trusting your own judgment due to some past baggage. Talk to me about this Page of Pentacles reversed. That's a whole lot. That's a lot. We'll address it, then I'll put it back. Hesitation in giving the cup, not being able to get something off your chest. Lack of communication, not being able to communicate, being not being able to find the words, there's confusion. Three of cups. Could just be having a good time. There could have been a third party involved. Knight of Wands reversed. Ace of Wands revert. Something is an ending. Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords reversed. I don't want to be that person, but in my regular life, I'm that person. The longer you hold on, the more you miss out on. Just throwing that out there. I feel like you're going to miss out on something huge if you keep yourself locked out from it. All right, talk to me about this Page of Pentacles reverse. Reversed. 
Really? That changes things a little bit for some of you. For some of you, it could be the new person that's lagging and causing things to be stagnant. But I got to point the finger where the universe points. I try not to point fingers, but with hesitation and stagnation. Are some of you holding off on signing divorce papers or another party is possibly? This feels like a delay in a legal process. One more on that. Wow. Okay, give me five. There's a great deal of emotion here. Paraffin popped out again. Public heartbreak, public sadness, having to be cooperative for whatever reason, possibly there might be kids involved. Everybody's going to know. Why the Ace of Wands? Why the Ace of Wands? Talk to me about this new, new start. The fantastic... You ready to let go of that wand now? Baby, honey. You ready to let go now? Just asking. I'm leaving that alone. Let's find out why. <laughs> Let's find out why. Talk to me about this Two of Pentacles reversed. Of cups, somebody couldn't make up their mind. Ten Pentacles. This feels like divorce. This feels like divorce. Ace of Wands. There was a choice here. Could have been yours, could have been theirs, but there was a choice. And possibly the choice to be made was going to affect more than just y'all. It was going to affect a lot of people. It could have affected a family business or what have you. It could have affected an estate, work, money, family, home life. Ten of Pentacles has multiple different meanings. This is like the big brick house with the white picket fence, 2.5 kids and the dog and the pool and the nice car. And this is the package. A decision to be made affected the package. Give me one on this Hierophant, please. A 
lovers in the Four of Cups. One on this Four of Cups. Seven of Swords. Oh, Jesus. You, you know what's in the Three Cups on the ground? I don't think there's a whole lot. Lies, deception, seven swords. Oof. One more sword, lock you up in a cage, your own thoughts. Hmm, shoot. Nine swords. Talk to me about nine swords. You. Nine wands. Anxiety, stress, being guarded. Something was ending. Something had to end for something new to begin. Somebody didn't want it to. Page of cups. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's the cup, there's the cup. Three of Wands, Knight of Cups. Slightly bigger apology, slightly bigger cup. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, gee. We skipped the queen, but it's most of the fam damnly. Choices, 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 crossroads, letting go, grabbing a wand. There's a power couple scenario here, potentially. Something else didn't grow. And you're carrying what didn't grow with you. Something may not have made it to the Ten Pentacles because it got stopped. You're locking yourself out at the five. Oh, honey. All right. Talk to me about this Ace of Cups right here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Cups and sticks will break my soul. great big pentacle attached to that stick up there. There's a choice between a cup and a stick. This is what happens if you go after the cup. If anybody's able to follow this, leave a comment. And tied to that cup is the devil. I think that cup has been empty a lot. Could be a water sign, could be a choice between a water and a fire sign. I don't see happiness attached to this cup. I see a lack of happiness in someone kicking themselves in the butt. One of this Queen of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune and the Hanged Man. Allowing a cycle to end so a new cycle to begin. Allowing the wheel to spin in your favor. Letting go. Letting go. 
accepting the fate of things. Somebody doesn't want to accept the fate. There's hesitation on the what ifs. What if? What if? What if the shit hits the fan? What if it doesn't? <laughs> I think, you know, there's been 700 songs or so written about scenarios like this. What if? What if it goes south? What if it doesn't? What if I repeat the same story again? What if you don't? You let your ego get in the way? I don't recommend it, Water Signs. There's an open door. Let's get a little wisdom on this, shall we? All things will be revealed in time. Higher power. Gee, okay. See what higher power has. Four. Four. Tell you, don't get no better than this. It doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't get any better than this. If I'm gonna hold them up. You want this? Or do you want this? I don't want this. I don't want this for you. Let's free on higher power. Conscious contact with a higher power. The presence of the divine. Seeing source energy in all things. Committing to a partnership with spirit. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. What Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then, get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. And trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. Water signs. Okay, I'm gonna pause, clear the decks. We're gonna move on to fire. I got a bunch of notifications I gotta move to get to my button. Hold on. All right, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We're gonna throw them down for you for March. 19th through the 26th. Alright, see if I can get somebody to fly out for us. The star. Could be an Aquarius. It's what happens after the tower falls. It's the grand healing. It's things flowing back where they should. I like it for you. So far, we're going to get the rest of the cards on the table. Might a sort of justice has fallen to balance some scales. 
and a cup done got spilled. Okay, so this turned into a legal matter. Right on. The phrase mental mind fuck just came into my head. Not quite sure why. Let's dig a little deeper, shall we? Oh, that was an argument. That was a harsh exchange of words. Something came to an end. The world card. Things end so new things can begin. Lovers reversed. There was a separation. Five of swords. There was a harsh exchange of words. Somebody came out on top. Somebody came out with nothing. It's the tail between your legs card. Could have been some dirty backdoor deals. I don't know. I wasn't there. Full reversed and death reversed. Bottom of the deck, the hanged man. Okay. Well, the good news is at some point you cut yourself out of the gallows with fire signs. Outcome short term, long term, at least until the 26th of this month. We'll see how things go. In all reality, these are all timeless. You're meant to see it when you see it. If you take a message out of it now or then, if this is already played out, you, you, you know it's yours. This is a hesitation of letting something end. but an eventual acceptance of the situation. Healing is a process. All right, give me a flyer. Give me a flyer. Not a wad. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not even going to address it. Nope. Judgment came out. Not even going to address it. Give me a flyer. That's something attempting a resurrection. So just put that in the back of your brain. Mm. Again, something not wanting this to end. Five wands. Usually. Usually. Hell of a spec. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. A little bit of an attention whore. Not saying it's you, Fire. Saying there's an attention whore involved some way here, possibly. Goes along with the mental mind fuck I'm seeing. Alright, one on the Ace of Cups reverse. Just one. Ten of Swords. The cup has been spilled. The sun will shine again. I promise it will. Healing is a process. Accepting the fate of a situation. It's all a process. One on justice, please. One on justice, please. Swords. Do you see it? Do you see it? This new cycle begins when this old one ends. And Lady Justice, she, I mean, she's not in this card, but She's gotten up out of her chair for a minute. Maybe she had to go to the bathroom or go get some coffee. I don't know. But the scales are about to balance. The sword's going to come down. Things are happening. 
and that's the challenge. I don't think necessarily anybody can really control this situation. I think someone's trying to. Why is the Six of Cups here? That's a wad. We're not taking wads. Why is the Six of Cups here? Sweet Jesus. Could be a Gemini. That's a soulmate connection. Double soulmates. Somebody you've been kicking it with for a minute. You guys probably been together for a while. But there again, the lovers can indicate a choice. There's a dark and a light side to that card. Somebody wants out of the cold. It's the mental mind. Fuck, we've been together forever. We're soulmates. I want it out of the cold. I miss you. Queen of Pentacles. She looks so damn sad holding that pentacle. King of Cups. That's an odd couple. This fat shiny coin is mine. That's okay. This cup's only half full. Okay. Yep. Very poker faced. I can do it without you. I'm good. This seems slightly narcissistic. I want to know the cold. I miss you. We've been together forever. But I can do it without you if I have to. Why is the Ten Pentacles reversed here? Why Ten Pentacles reversed? It's okay that the house came tumbling down around me. You're moving on. You're putting work and effort in elsewhere. You're eight pentacles in on a new ten pentacle. Page of Cups. And there's that apology. I'll wait forever. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I don't even think y'all are like, y'all could be talking through a lawyer or somebody. Mm. Little messenger page that you're speaking through. Wow. King of Swords. Why the King of Swords reversed? Why? Oh, hi. King of Swords reversed makes emotional decisions. He doesn't do logical things. At least you're not in a cage of your own thoughts of it anymore at the end of the week. Coming out of that, temperance, okay. So somebody involved is making rather rash decisions and the other person's like, I ran out of fucks a week ago. I, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just how I'm, I'm feeling with this. Somebody's just being cool as a cucumber. Things will go how they go. Forward movement. Eight of Wands. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to go after what I want. That's fire right there, baby. That's fire. That's fire. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Talk to me about this world card and for why it all went down. Hi, sun reversed. Double reversed. 
okay. Something came to an end, so something new could begin. Yeah, the sun wasn't shining. Possibly somebody had to disconnect from some toxic crap and some old habits. Mwah. Magician reversed. The moon, oh geez. Seven of Cups, confusion, Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's confusion. Flubber bubber. I'll disconnect from my toxic stuff just long enough. Why is the lovers reversed here? Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Queen of Swords reversed. Attitude. Not thrilled. Not the power couple we want to be. Not at all. So we got a tood. And down went the tower. Down went the tower. All right. Five of swords. Harsh exchange of words. Like somebody was just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Two of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Wands. One cannot have their cake and eat it too. Two of Wands. Judgment. Judgment. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, fire. One more. King of Pentacles. Shit. The King of Pentacles says, I'm worth more than this. I'm worth more than someone who can't make up their mind. Someone thought they were walking away with everything. No. They did not walk away with someone else's self-worth. Okay. Why is the full reverse tear? Why is the full reverse tear for an outcome? Swords. The Two of Cups reversed. And the Fool in the Upright. Why death reversed? Queen of Wands. Four of 
Chronicles. I feel like something is going to be said to delay a process. To delay a death cycle. To cause confusion. But I think eventually you end up picking a cup. I feel like there's hesitation because you don't want to pick the wrong one. These are paths in life. You need to know what you want or what you don't want. Someone doesn't want to let you go. That's apparent. Four of Wands. Well, water signs ended there too. Doors of opportunity are opening up. Stability could be restored in this entire situation. But you have to decide what you want and what you don't want. I feel like there's a great deal of mental trickery going, going on here. And someone has the other under their thumb. Things should not be going on. Give me a wisdom. Every time you try to heal someone comes in and messes with your head. You can't get to a point of healing and acceptance as long as someone keeps coming in and messing with your head. Mending a new life. Alright. Whoa. 5 plus 2 is 7. 3 plus 9 is 12. 1 plus 3 is 2. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 is ending is in new beginnings. We're around this fire signs. Number 39, new life. Birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a fresh uh, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around and in your very core. Blossoms burst from trees overnight. Birds return home and sing their glorious song. And nature is full of promise. Miracles beckon all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world. And you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine. For this is a time of good fortune. You're healing. Getting to that place of new perspective and acceptance. It's coming. It's new life. Everything adds up to ten. That's amazing. And 10 plus 0 is 1, so there's your new beginning. That's how numerology works. Anyway, number 52. Mending. Mending. Forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes of resentments, and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. Fire. This is beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm going to clear the decks, and then we're going to move on to air. Okay, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
See what the universe has in store for you. March 19th to 26th. somebody fly out okay I don't want to wad oh but this is interesting I'm taking the wad temperance the moon and the four of wands Everything's coming together. But you still question what's behind the door, don't you? Mm. Peace and tranquility. But unanswered questions. Could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces involved. You can have Sagittarius or Pisces in your own chart. Four, two, three, four. Card of Aries. There's a giant crab. Might be Cancer. Nah. Ooh, okay. Come out of your head with the self-defeating thoughts already. Hermit reversed, King of Pentacles reversed. Don't do that to yourself. Why are you doing that to yourself? Knight of Cups reversed, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Okay. The Tower, the Two of Wands, and the Magician. Knight of Swords. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Cordial Cooperation. Somebody give me a flyer. Or three. Enough with the self-defeating thoughts already. Ten of Wands reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Page of Cups reversed. Everything is coming together nicely. I'm not taking a cup. I do not know what is behind that door. I don't know if I want what is behind that door. This is very much a what is behind that door moment. Seven of cups.
Hermit Reversed. That horse ain't moving anytime soon, is it? King of Pentacles reversed. Paraffin reversed. Okay, so something didn't work out. Something you are not ready to commit. <laughs> Probably because something in the past didn't work out. Knight of Cups reversed. Talk to me. Talk to me. Two seconds. I gotta get a kid off a bus. All right, where were we? Seven of Wands reversed. It's that... You're tired, you're defeated. Ain't got no fight left in you. Okay. You are not taking or giving cups because you just ain't got it in you. You don't want no drama. Fine. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you're just working. Eight of Cups reversed. Queen of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Oh, shit. Temperance in the reverse. Ooh. This could be a game changer for some of you. That's great. It's return, return, return. Somebody you worked with? Possible fire sign, maybe a Leo. Hmm. Could cause a little upheaval. Could cause a little upheaval. Temperance reversed. Rattle some chains. A little more on that. Working, doing your thing, earning your coin. There's something coming back. Strength reversed. Ain't got it in you. Ain't got it in you. Why seven of cups? Three of Wands reversed, two of Wands reversed. Empress reversed. Paths. Which cup do I take? It didn't grow last time. Why would it grow this time if it is indeed a return coming in? Something's going to stick you to crossroads. Ace of Cups reversed. You may end up dumping somebody's cup before they dump yours. 
It's going to force you into decision mode, though. Seven of Cups reversed probably caused a little bit of confusion. Like, why now? I'm hearing, why now? We've been in the friend zone for quite a while. Hmm. Could be work-related. Weird. All right. Tower reversed. King of Cups reversed. Seven of Cups. So the tower falls, the dust settles, start rebuilding, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why on earth would you feel like you're not good enough? Emotional closing off, lack of self-worth. No anxiety though. Or bad shit crazy, one of the two. Ten of, ten of Pentacles reversed. This knocked down some hopes and dreams. Wow. Where do I go now? Two of Wands. Talk to me about this Two of Wands. reversed. Don't think you went very much anywhere for a minute. Double reversed. I think you stopped communicating with this person. Chose to let go of the wand and move on. Move one more. Emperor, you got your shit together. You took control. You took control of your path. Emperor, magician, went your way. You used your tools. Lovers, high priestess. Manifest the person that you want. Here's the problem with this. If your head's full of self-defeating thoughts, what do you think you're going to manifest? If you're in this headspace of I'm not good enough, what do you think you're going to attract? You change headspace, baby. Change headspace. Four of Pentacles reversed. Let some shit go. Do one more on that. Six of Wands reversed. Don't let yourself be seen and you self-isolate because you don't think you're good enough. What do you think you're going to attract? You're going to attract things that, well, quite frankly, I, I, I don't want to be that person, but you could probably do better. you got to vibrate higher to attract what you deserve. Star reversed at the bottom of the deck. You have to heal. Things flow the way they're supposed to. And doors open. But if you're here, what are you going to open? It's behind that shroud of mystery, isn't it? Three of Wands. I see you in a state of waiting. Three of Wands. Sun reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Not happy, repeating the same cycles over and over again. Let's 
six of pentacles reversed. You can probably do better. Nine of cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. This is not how we attract. Woe is me. All right, the make or break here. Give me a wad. I'm going to address it and put it back. Mm. Temperance reversed. Nine of cups reversed. Seven of swords reversed. Four of swords reversed. Two of pentacles reversed. Judgment reversed. You keep reattracting the same crap over and over and over again and staying in that state of restlessness. Knight of Swords, make a break. Talk to me about this Knight of Swords. Self work. Temperance upright. Ace of Swords reversed, though. One more. You got to do the self work and you got to get right on the inside if you want that communication to come in. You got to manifest what you actually want. So you have to change your perspective on things. Or you're just going to keep attracting this. One more. I'd be done waiting too. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords reverse. It's all about your own attitude, Air Signs. It's all about your attitude and how you look at things. And it has to start from within you. You know, I love you, my Air Sign babies. My, my son, my, my 11 year old is a little Aquarius and he struggles with this too. He really does. Stop it. Number one, Yang. Let's talk about Yang for a minute. Start at the beginning of the book, Mama. Okay. Yeah. Number one would be close to the beginning, wouldn't it? Do, 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 do. Come on. Oh my gosh, where does the beginning actually begin? <sighs> Talk about the cards! Okay, Yang. The masculine principle of movement and creative activity. The power to make things happen, taking action. I think this is your card. You might want to pay attention. Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Air signs. I'm going to clear the decks and I'm going to move on to Earth. All right, Earth signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, March 19th to the 26th. Let's see if I can get a flyer. Who wants to fly out? Want to fly out and talk, huh? Okay, I guess you do. Eight of Pentacles reversed. What are you not putting the work, effort, energy into? What? Okay. 
Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I know why you're not doing it. All right. You're above that shit, ain't you? Yeah, probably. Somebody said, nope. I can do better. You want to get something off your chest? You want to release a burden? A lot of sexual energy in that card, too. Just throwing that out there. There's anxiety. We'll get a clarifier in a minute. Your anxiety is holding you back. Why did I do that? We'll do it this way. There we go. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck this time. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys are going to have an interesting week, and I think you're going to piss somebody off by the end of the week, dude. I don't think you're going to care, though, because you can do better. Don't let your anxiety get the best of you. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. Right, give me a flyer. High Priestess. You will be led and guided to the one that's not going to make you work so hard. All right. Five of Cups was at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all might be a little sad right now. I don't think it'll last very long. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. All right, talk to me about this Ten of Wands. King of Cups in the upright. Possibly a little sexual energy. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Just because it's like antlers and stuff. Not, I mean, the emotion's there, but it's very poker-faced. I think you're afraid to express emotions. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why the Eight of Swords? Are you afraid of the ending or the new beginning? Or both? Sadness. Process your emotions. Do not let them get the best of you. You can do better. Trust me. Six of Swords. Talk to me about the Six of Swords. Eight Pentacles, Two of Wands. Moving forward. 
working on you, letting go of the old, embracing the world before you. A little Knight of Wands. What that, what's that Knight of Wands doing? I think that Knight of Wands is uh, possibly chasing after a chariot. Talk to me about this Knight of Wands. Speaking of sexual energy and sexual tension, party pony! Three wands! Hanged man reverse! And Lady Justice. So, not necessarily legal matter. I, I, it could be for some of you, but you know, it's whatever. They, they, they chase after you because they don't want, they don't, they, they don't want to have that disconnect because, well, they're the party pony. They're always up for a good time, just in a long time. They make plans. They cancel. They leave you waiting. They leave you hung up. But Lady Justice swings down her sword to balance out the scales. You can do better. And now to the part where you piss somebody off this week. Queen of Swords first. That's not your energy. That's theirs. Knight of Swords. Two of Pentacles in the world. What time is it? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Oh, the fool decided to pop out. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes you gotta tell people stuff they don't wanna hear. You can do better. They're not your match. Not even a little. You can do better. Leap of faith elsewhere. Nicely done. End things that need to end. Begin things that need to begin. Allow yourself to be led and guided. Now let's find out why it all went down before we get a conclusion to this. Knight of Cups. Oh, that's a shiny cup. But you see how it's kind of like out in the middle of the lake? like Almost like it's a trap. I have this cup for you. You want the cup. Talk to me about this Knight of Cups. Seven of Wands. Four of Pentacles left you waiting, held things back. You know why it's out in the middle of the lake? You know why he's not holding it? It's there for the taking. It's there for whoever gets to it first. It's the pocket pony. It's the pocket pony. Leave a comment, we'll engage, I'll explain. But that's pocket pony right there. Always got somebody in his back pocket. Five of swords reversed. Two cups. Six of pentacles. Shady stuff going on behind closed doors. Chariot, maybe you were a distance apart from each other? 
I'm feeling like a long distance thing so they could get away with being the pocket pony. I don't know. Like, at face value, everything's fair and equal, but there's stuff going on that you don't know about. Wheel of Fortune. The wheel swings in an upward direction, and sometimes you know, this, this feels like protection to me. Definitely feels like protection. You were being divinely led and guided. You were being divinely protected. Divinely protected. Lovers reversed. Lovers reversed. Oh, hit the floor. Must be important. Queen of Swords. Queen of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. And this is when the truth was found out and you decided to love yourself more and love yourself first and value your self-worth and kick somebody to the curb, put them out of the back porch. I talk about the, the, the house plan on the back porch a lot. Because you loved you. And it hurt. There was emotions to process there. Do not let your emotions get the best of you. King of Cups reversed. Talk to me about this King of Cups reversed. Lovers reversed. King of Swords. Do not let your emotions get the best of you. This is logic. You can do better. And you know you can. Don't manifest bullshit into your life. Don't go beneath yourself. I'm not a judgmental person. But I think you can do better than Pocket Pony over here. Or Party Pony up there. You can do a lot better. And you know you can. Do not let your emotions get the best of you. Make a logical decision. Because when you allow the emotions to get the better of you, that's when Pocket Pony sneaks back in or Party Pony sneaks back in. Could be the same person. Could be a repeating pattern. I don't know. But there you go. Rest till chill time. Process the emotions you need to process. Take the fourth sword and cut shit out of your life. Let it hurt for a minute. You can do better. And you will be led and guided to what you're supposed to be with, who you're supposed to be with. The one that's up here with you. It's going to bring in balance. You're just at a bit of a crossroads right now. And usually when we're at crossroads, we're given a bunch of choices, a bunch of decisions. You know which one's best for you. Disconnect from the bullshit. But don't let bad blood and that sour taste in your mouth stop a beautiful new cycle because you got one coming to an end don't lay in your defeat because you don't love yourself you gotta love yourself or the sun's not gonna shine again and you don't get your two of cups or your ten of cups you want me to keep going I'm going to keep going. I don't, I don't want to keep going. We're not going to keep going. Positive thoughts manifest the one you want, the one you're supposed to be with. One on this magician.
Ace of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Slowly. Slowly. This is a student that has learned. Or is learning. There's the eight. And there's the ten. The sun will shine again. But don't let the devil back in to fuck with your head some more. You gotta process the emotions you need to process and cut that shit out. And make this king of pentacles into the fucking emperor. Defeat your demon. Because there's the empress. There's a fucking power couple right there. Alright. Move forward. Let's get a wisdom, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, it is Friday, the 18th of March. This will post today. Unfinished Symphony, number 10. 10. Endings and beginnings. It is the 18th of March. This weekly will post today. Probably um, the 6th that I have done for March will post today. And the other 6th that I need to do for March will happen over the weekend. I'll finish this as soon as I'm done with this little reading. Where is number 10? My gosh. Oh, there it is. Unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, the need to make amends. This is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practical, radical acceptance. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so the symphony can finally end on a high note. Friends. I send you all off with peace, love, and light. Know that you are loved and be blessed. And I will catch you guys next week. Or whenever I catch you. Take care.